know somebody who, who has a good joke for Friday. They actually call it Fry-yay. Fry-yay? Fry-yay! <laughs> oh! <laughs> fry <-yay. coughs> Excuse me. Are, are, are you, so, you were going on a little bit this morning about, I was, about the title there. I was, I was. You have Morning Cup of Fabulously Fantastical Finally Friday or TJF. Well, TJF is not anywhere in there. It's f f f f <laughs> no! Denham! No! <laughs> yeah, marketing has worked on him. <laughs> That's not marketing, I watched the show! <laughs> but it's marketing, too. Denham! <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> and anyway, oh my goodness. you're apparently not reading it properly because it doesn't. It, it says or TGIF, not and. Right. I, I realize that. I'm just making fun of your title. Uh oh. <laughs> it, it's my job. No. N yes. <laughs> no. No. So no. So instead of TGIF, it's. Dunham. No. 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 Uh -huh. You're the one that keeps I'm doing it, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> Apparently, I don't learn quickly. <laughs> Especially in the morning. Mm. Pretty much. A little bit of girl going on over there. Renee's laughing at us. Do you, do you, do you need a, a little mouth cup? Uh, no. I am. <clears throat> All right. All right. Sure about it. <laughs> Maybe a helmet then. <laughs> no. So, what does your meme say? Um, <laughs> I, I love. It says, I'm me. going to try and act like a normal, happy, mentally balanced person today. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's about how I feel today. I don't know. What's been going on with this week? But, whew, I tell you what. I know. You feel that motivation building in the morning and it just kind of goes. Yeah, well. It is what it is, and apparently I need a bigger boot. <laughs> a bigger what? Boot. Boot. Kick you in the butt. No. Because <laughs> my little ones aren't working. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. I used my broken shoe to kick yours. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, no. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Yeah, so, it's yeah. Friday. So I, I came across a few things this morning that made me chuckle. Oh, okay. And uh, they, they're uh, slightly Facebook-related. <clears throat> Um, yes, uh, there is... There's it, slightly Facebook... Slightly Facebook related. Well, we'll have to start at the beginning here. I'll, I'll have to read you the headline here. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, yeah. France takes on cell phone addiction with a ban in schools. Which, you know, I mean, honestly, isn't really that big of a deal, I guess. You know, banning cell phones in school. Well, you're there to learn, technically, so... Uh, right, right. <clears throat> I just... But it's the overarching French government that is taking away the phones, not the parents. So apparently they need the nanny state there. Mm. With a little bit of cheese. Oh boy. And some wine. Oh boy. Yeah. And maybe yeah. some crackers? Or, or uh, I think that's optional. Or French bread? <laughs> so, <coughs> <laughs> you know, the article goes on to discuss about, you know, how. How, how we actually have some what? Renee says you can. I can borrow her boot. Yeah, hey. <laughs> what about yeah? I need a boot for you, man. Get your homework done. Are you done I'm with your fifteen-page paper yet? No, but I've been doing a lot of reading, so I can write my fifteen-page paper. When's it due? It's due Sunday. Mm. 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 Anyway. So anyway, uh, back back to the article here. So you know they they've uh, there's actually been some states that have banned here in the U.S. Uh, cell phones for schools. Uh, New York is one of the big ones. And apparently, because it was so unevenly enforced, they dumped it back in 2015. They're like, ah, they can't do it. Everybody's got phones. Ah. 
It, well, you know what's really funny about you bringing this up? Mm. I actually saw an article and, and read an article from my school mm -hmm. about a teacher um, who tried to ban electronics in their classroom. There's a lot of teachers that do that, isn't there? Yes. Oh, okay. and, but then, then the instructor realized that it was impossible. <laughs> yeah, there's too many. It's too And so too what they what they did was they incorporated the electronics into the curriculum actually. Oh, okay. So instead of fighting it, they <laughs> they used it to their advantage. <laughs> and and apparently grades went up and all of that fun stuff and Well that's you know, one of the things that they actually mentioned in here that kids without phones get better grades, they learn more stuff. More about cheese, I would guess, in France. I don't know. Um, possibly wine. And if you're in France and this offends you, well. Uh, We're still making fun of you. Pretty much. We make fun of everybody. Uh, we do. We do. Including ourselves. So yeah, yes. no one is free from uh, our, our uh, satire. Uh, no, no. So, uh, yeah, that's, so that, you know, that, that kind of goes with the whole banning electronics. I mean, okay, so... Well, I, I, I decided to delve slightly farther than the headline into the article. Okay. And apparently Facebook is actually considering putting something on the Facebook website that's going to, shall we say, inform you of certain things that are going on. Now I'm scared. Yeah. I, I, I don't <clears throat> want to know, but I want to know. <laughs> Well, apparently they're concerned with the amount of time that people are spending on their fabulous website. They've been worried about that for a few years. Yes, but now they're going to be telling you how long you've been on it and say that you should take a break and warn you and, and things of that nature because they care. Yeah, they care. <laughs> As Dave says, I got nothing. Yep. <laughs> no, seriously. Oh my goodness. I was reading through this, what? and that's what pops up. They're, they're like, here, I'll, I'll scroll down to it. I here. just. Uh, All right, yeah. Whatever happened to personal responsibility? I mean, really. Yeah, here we go. In recent months, complaints that big tech firms' products are too addictive, particularly for children, have started to resonate in Silicon Valley. Facebook Incorporated earlier this month said it would start offering tools to show users how long they use its service and alert them to take a break. Okay, okay, uh, all right, all right. So this is throwing me back a few years because it's been that long since since I've gamed. Oh, okay. Now Blizzard actually did this. Who's Blizzard? Blizzard. For those that don't know. <laughs> because you know our audience is very diverse. Uh, yes, yes, our audience is very diverse. Blizzard is a gaming company. They own um, World of Warcraft, Diablo Three, Diablo. Uh, Diablo, whatever. Tomato, tomato. No. Um, <laughs> and and uh, a couple so for of those of you that didn't and know, gaming freak. I, yes, yes, I am. And um, and and when I started school and whatnot, it was really hard for me to give it up because I really like gaming. Um, but that's me, you know. That's on me. That's not on the company. However, because it was so addictive, it, it, it is so addictive. Um, Blizzard would put in time locks for, uh, for actual time locks. Uh, yeah, for for parents. Oh. Okay. So okay, you have a kid; <coughs> they can only be on for let's say an hour, and then it would lock lock you out. Now I understand that, but as a gamer, I freak out when I think about that because these are. You can't pause these games. <laughs> it's not like back in the day where you could just pause it and come back later. Right, right. But they would let you know um, how long you had actually been in. Now, when it comes to Facebook and and social media, mm -hmm. I understand there is an addiction. However, when you come up with alerts and stuff, I mean, most people when they're on social media, they're on their phones, they're they're mobile, and so they know. Or should know how long they're on. But they don't because it's an addiction according to all of the powers that be. It is there's actually like a mental thing where people are just like, We must have more Facebook. Oh my. <laughs> oh my See and I understand the Instagram thing, I understand Twitter. 
because those are more um, more for gratification. right. Yeah, the instant gratification, the Snapchat, things of that nature. Facebook is more of a very long conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what posting. Uh, right, right. right. This right. is true. Um, Mario says, "Good morning, happy Friday." Good morning, <gasps> happy Friday. <laughs> and uh, Dave says, "Hi, five times infinity to Lois." Gamers unite! Yes, I, I was actually the same way, and and then I had kids. I know. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> that was kind of a reality check. Like, hey, I can't spend twenty seven hours a day on my computer. <laughs> Some people are probably like twenty seven hours a day. Like you can't do that one bit. <laughs> I invented if, time to stay on there longer, man. <laughs> if y'all have ever seen South Park, they do. They there is one episode. It's a gaming episode, <laughs> and it oh, is no. the stereotypical gamer <laughs> <laughs> buried in Mountain Dew cans and Funyun bags. Pretty much <laughs> sitting at the computer screen, eyes wide and bloodshot. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep. And I saw that one. I think that was the last one I saw. Um, and uh, that one cracked me up because, <laughs> I mean, it, it, just the feeling, it, I, I was not that bad. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> I, I, was, I was very functional. Um, I, you were I, a functional gamer. like a I functional was. alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I was a non-functional gamer. I was the stereotype. I was buried in Mountain Dew cans. Uh, oh, my. I was. I remember that. Yeah. I, I, I really do. Yeah. When we first back. met. Yeah. <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs> Pushed open the door through the pile of Mountain Dew cans. Like, are you still in there? No, leave me alone. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and you had this big, big screen that, uh, <coughs> that I was so jealous of. <laughs> Because I had this little itty bitty monitor in comparison. Yeah, it was a uh, <laughs> it was a sixty two inch screen actually. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. And I was sitting less than four feet from it. Yeah, well, I in don't know. In a big cushy chair. I don't know. Okay, the distance from your TV uh -huh. I, or screen. I don't know if that's because you were a gamer or if you were <clears throat> blind. <laughs> no, that's probably why I am blind actually. <laughs> But it was one of those rear projection uh, big screen TVs. It, yes. And I had this big, huge, overstuffed, comfy chair. I remember that. And I'd sit right in front of it and I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that was crazy. That was that was like nine, ten years ago plus. It, yeah, it was. <clears throat> not a long time ago. It was a very, very long time. I haven't. You know what? I'm gonna have to try that again. Uh, uh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, and this is what I mean by I was a functioning gamer. I had a job, I had a house, I had, I had responsibilities. <laughs> However, on the weekend... <laughs> so you clock out of work and clock into the gamer world. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> that makes sense. So, but yeah, it's been years mm -hmm. um, since, uh, well, since I started school. Yeah. Uh, that, that I've even touched it. Yeah. It, um, it's been a while But for me, I so. can't yeah. believe Facebook is doing this. They're, they're doing I mean, it to really. try and fit the trend and blah, blah, blah. And and, oh, and you know, their whole totally I bunkus. care, we care thing, they care about their bottom dollar and making ah. sure their stockholders get yep. money. Pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> and, and in doing this, I, you know, going through my business classes and, and whatnot, I can actually see this backfiring mm -hmm. because then people are going to start using it less and their sponsors, their advertisers, and their stockholders are going to go, oh, bye bye Yeah, it just goes <laughs> to show on one more occasion that the uh, the social media giant that knows everything doesn't really know as much as they think they do. Right. And since the, in this article they're talking about kids, that's up to the parents. Right. You'd think I mean, that your parents... Well, but that's the problem is that uh, apparently there's enough parents out there that don't know what the heck they're doing. And uh, so apparently the government must step in. Oh, yeah. Government. See, I'm, 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 uh -huh. I'm very. Give me your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not for big government uh, at all. However, there are times. Nope. Where no, there are. Nope. I'm <laughs> telling you, Darwinism I, will sort it out. In maybe. the end, Darwinism will sort it out. Maybe. However, we keep, we keep interfering with it. <laughs> That's the However, problem. My, my, when I was younger, and I mean back in high school and um, middle school. So back when they had carts and buggies. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> um, 
That reminds me of one of the pictures. I, I know. That's why I wrote it. <laughs> um, so even back then, I was noticing the the transition between parents taking responsibility, doing what they were supposed and to, then letting the next state take over, pretty or just not doing anything at all. And I was thinking back then, you know. <laughs> For those who adopt and foster, they have to go through classes. They have to pass this and that and whatnot. <laughs> I honestly, back then, started thinking, to be a parent, you should have to do that. <laughs> okay, so I will counter you with this. Name one thing that the government does well. Oh, not a darn. So what oh, wait. exactly oh, would no, that not anymore. <laughs> say, so, so what exactly would that accomplish? That is the question. He's I like, realize that. Well, they need a license. Well, what the so what what, what good is that going to do? I understand. I understand. <clears throat> it just proves that you can and take a test. <laughs> it's one more of those things that they will take the government. It, it takes away your rights and then sells them back to you in the form of permits right. and licenses. I, I, it's I, like. I understand that, but look at the age I'm talking. Okay, grammar school or not grammar <laughs> school? <laughs> so back in Woo! back in the horse cart and buggy days, they middle did what? school, middle school I and see. high school. <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> Mario says the game I like is Street Fighter versus Tekken and the new Tekken. I remember Tekken. My sister always kicked my rear, like, <laughs> horribly in Street Fighter. <laughs> and Mortal Kombat, by the way. Oh, well, um, I remember that. <laughs> Street <laughs> Oh, yes. Finish him. She was really good at the fighter games. I never was. <laughs> well, hey, your younger sister kicked your head. <laughs> pretty, <laughs> pretty much. much. <laughs> and I, uh, I'm the one who ended up in the military. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, figure, huh? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I never, mean, I never would have pictured that. I really well, wouldn't. Have. Between the two of you, that she would be the one that was good at the. She fighting. smashed buttons better than I did. <laughs> you had the mad smash. You guys remember that? You get, especially on the old NES. You remember oh. Nintendo Thumb? Oh, oh yes. Oh man. Yes. Oh, I remember that. Was that. <laughs> up down up down left right left right B A start. Oh no. Up up down down left right left right B A start. Wow. <laughs> But yeah, um, when we first started, my sister, um, she did the button smash really, really well. And um, I was the one, I was the perfectionist trying to figure out the moves and, and stuff like that without doing the button smash. Didn't work. You know, um, that's kind of like in life, too. Sometimes if you just do stuff, it's better than people that plan it out. Pretty much. Because they overanalyze and overthink it, and then you can just smash right over the top of them and climb up, and you're like, Aah! And then she figured out the special moves and did them every time. <laughs> I love it. I could never remember it under, I, I, under I, that you know, pressure. I, I can't, off the top of my head, I can't, but I do, I was fairly decent at some of those, you know? Yeah, I was never good at the fighter games. Never good. That's hilarious. And it remains to this day. <laughs> I still suck really bad at the fighter games. That's funny. <laughs> and you know what? She's kind of going into a role where she's going to be doing some more of that. Yeah, apparently. So definitely. She's going to be playing a superhero. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. um, Renee says, remember it well, Mario Brothers. Yes. yes. <laughs> there was Mario Brothers, which was before Super Mario Brothers. You remember that game? Uh huh. Yeah, that thing. Ooh. I like some weird. I like Super Mario too. I like three. That was my favorite with the, with the raccoon tail. Where I thought that was two. No, that's three. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. I, I, start running in. And we cheated. We cheated after a while. Uh -huh. um, Santa brought us a. Uh, was it a game genie? Yes, it yeah. was. Yeah. <laughs> I remember we found one of those at a yard sale. It was like ten bucks. And I had I had I had been doing all kinds of chores and stuff to save up every last dime I had, and I got it. But it only worked like half the time. <laughs> and it wasn't like you you know like nowadays where you could just go online and find a cheap oh, code. No. Man. Oh no! Oh no! No, I was a pain in the butt trying to find. You had to have the book. If you didn't have that book of oh, all the cheap codes, oh, you were SOL. Codes, <laughs> I got the genie, but I don't know what it can do. <laughs> uh, Renee says in GTA. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Those those games were very addictive. Yes, yes. I miss those games. <laughs> Some days, man. I'm so do I. You. But uh, I realize I have a problem when it comes to games. <laughs> I 
have a problem. Well, I guess, you know, that is the first step. It is, it admitting is. Admitting you have a problem. <laughs> you already admitted you're a functional gamer. So. I am. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of funny, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh. So anyway, yeah, that's what France is doing. Uh. And apparently Facebook is jumping on board with one more whatever. <gasps> <clears throat> just, mm, just know. no. I mean, seriously. Oh, you know, there's it, gonna be more. It's the whole. It's the whole personal, personal responsibility, personal accountability. And they if the students fail, let them figure it out. What the consequences are. Yeah, Darwinism at work, man. You know, that's the thing. We've gone from you know, you've got you've got government censorship and stuff like that. Well, a lot of people are like, oh, it's government censorship. This has nothing to do with government when mm -mm. it comes to Facebook and stuff. That's corporate censorship. Mm -hmm. And that has nothing, you know, everyone keeps trying to blame the government, and they say, well, the government has to fix it. Well, they can't because it's a private company. It's the private company that's being a douche. I keep waiting for one of the big, big-named libertarian conservative types to do their, their own mm -hmm. social media site because then free speech and all of that will just fly off the handle well, and actually, in that form. Now that you bring that up, there's actually several platforms that are trying to give something like that a go. It's not conservative. They just want people to be able right. to go out there and say what they want and not get censored. And uh, they're actually using blockchain technology for it. I, I, so, yeah. I realize that. I'm just saying one of the big conservative types um, because the majority of them have the financial backing and the contacts well, to be able to do it. To do something that big, you're going to need something like Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos to go right, out that, there. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> they have more important stuff. They're trying to make it to Mars, man. You <laughs> leave them alone. I want us to go to Mars. Mario says he likes football games and baseball games and golf. Well, I guess, you know, somebody's got to like those games. <laughs> I like watching them. I don't. <laughs> I, I, well, actually, I like football. I, I don't care for baseball, and I don't care for golf. Baseball, I was turned off. Yeah, off for those of you that don't know, she's a sports fan. I am, I am. Um... What and I it? like I is like it the cowboys. I do. I like the cowgirls. <laughs> <laughs> she can make fun of her own I team. can because you know. Well, <laughs> and I know she happens to be a diehard fan because there is a clock. <laughs> that, and I, and I, started, I was like, "Isn't this like some kind of football team?" She's like, "Yeah, I like football." And I was like, <laughs> "For those of you that don't know, I am not a sports fan. <laughs> well, not that kind of sports anyway. They have um, all disgusted me since I was uh, I was uh, a younger lad." After, let's see, I think it started in baseball where they started protesting that they weren't getting paid enough. Uh, yeah. I was like, what? So, I was yeah. turned off to baseball long before that. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but uh, let's see, Dave says, all this reminiscing about gaming makes me think we need to all give up jobs and pitch in for a commune and just, <laughs> <laughs> and just game all day. But we can get government a government grant to support it if we make it a religion. Oh my ah! god! Screw the flying spaghetti monster, man! We're gonna have our own Nintendo clave. <laughs> I love it. David says I'm late to the bandwagon. Good morning. Good morning, David. Good morning, David. Uh, and uh, Mario says, and you're not Chris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what he's commenting to. I don't know. There's the a lag. lag time, yeah. Oh, good Lord, is there a lag. Last night's news. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we only got... So, thank you guys very much for liking, sharing, and commenting on all of these posts. But last night, we had a whole bunch of people watching. You know how many likes we got on the news last night? Mm. Two. Oh, no. I know there was more people than that uh, watching, but only two liked it. Oh, no. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, you guys have to help us out. Yes. <laughs> we have to, fe to defeat the corporate algorithm and censorship. You got to get out there. You got to like, you got to comment, and you got to share. That's the only way around that loophole right there. <laughs> Which is really funny because everybody's every, everybody's yipping about fake news and, and stuff like that. They're trying to put out the real stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have, I, I know. I know. Oh, my some, goodness. Holy cow. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and that, I believe that's Mario. <laughs> the spam button. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we just got spam. Oh, <laughs> I know it can be difficult to just reach that mouse over there and click thumbs up, but, you know, it does really help us out. Oh. We do appreciate it when it happens. 
<clears throat> so Renee also says that she would join the commune. Well, there you go. We got a bunch. Of, we got a bunch of older hippies. Uh -oh. oh. <laughs> they want to do a commune with wow. modern technology. <laughs> <laughs> I, However, I am not a hippie. However, I am one of the people that wants to live off of grid, put up giant walls around my property, and shoot anyone that comes within a hundred miles. So oh. it works for me. That's only during the apocalypse. No, <laughs> I want to do that now. <laughs> I really do. I, I do. I just. Just saying. <laughs> I know I've some property out in the Virginia area that... Uh, That's on the wrong side of Mississippi. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, what Mario Mario says, what I meant was he's not a sports fan. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'm not a sports guy. No. But I do. I love the outdoors. I love I love shooting. I love hiking. I love Those are different sports. Four-wheeling. Exactly. Yeah. Those are the kinds of things I like. I have just become... Well, it's not disillusioned. I'm just tired of fake people trying to do whatever it is they're doing. Like like the whole NFL thing where they're taking a knee and all that. I'm just like, you guys are idiots, man. They think because they get paid millions of dollars to play with their balls, <clears throat> yes, that was a pun, that their opinion matters. <laughs> I'm not going down that road. <clears throat> that's a different show. <laughs> it is, but that's what it boils down to for me. <clears throat> See and and I like um, other than the football. Uh -huh. I like the boxing. I like hockey. I like the I like sports. MMA. Yeah. See, like, that, you know, that's I love that a stuff. Huge, <clears throat> huge thing now. I used to be really big into the uh, the fighting thing. As a matter of fact, after I got out of the Marine Corps, one of the things I was thinking about doing was going into MMA. <laughs> you should have. I should have, but it's a little it's late a now. Bit, now yeah. I'm old and fragile. <laughs> things don't heal as quick as they used to. I'm just see, see, and and I I like MMA, and when I was down in Sierra Vista, I I was invited to watch um, a couple of fights, <laughs> and the people I was with, they were, you know, betting on one person, <coughs> and they said I couldn't come back because after after two shows of it, mm -hmm. um, two different fights. I, I jinxed it. <laughs> you know, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> and it was somebody who was supposed to win. Didn't. <laughs> That's what happens, man. <laughs> you never know what you go with. So, so, yeah. I just, I, I, I stay in my little bubble now. I don't, you know, go out and converse with other sports fans just to be on the safe side. <laughs> yeah. Although, I think, yeah, see, like, for instance, like I'll watch the Super Bowl occasionally. Granted, it's mostly for the commercials. But one time I actually did it because uh, a friend of mine, um, he uh, he he's a huge Seahawks fan, which <laughs> which I, I I came to find out was actually a football team. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. I mean, hey, look at that. So anyway, he's a huge Seahawks fan, and you know he would go on rants and stories about it and everything, and he was very passionate about it. So I was curious as to this whole ritual thing where they have a Super Bowl party and there's people and snacks and and oh, and no. excitement and noise and it was it was actually pretty fun. Okay. But it was more of the experience of hanging out with, with him and he had he had some other people there as well. And it was, it was entertaining. You gotta see a different side yeah. of him. <laughs> I was like I was like, you're you're freaking crazy. <laughs> but that's alright, so am I. Oh, that's funny. Um, I used to have a landlord. Um, I rented a, a mother-in-law house, um, which is another house on the same property. Yeah. It's a smaller house. And um, during you always knew when it was football season. Doors and windows closed, you could hear her. <laughs> oh, my goodness. People screaming and yelling. Oh, yeah. Well, it, was, it was actually just her. Oh. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Oh, Mario says Steeler Nation. Oh, no. <laughs> um, we do know another Steelers fan. We do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's actually here in Page. He, he, um, he actually got sick yesterday, apparently. Oh, no. That's he not thinks good. About some kind of heat exhaustion or something. Ew. So, yeah, Ew. Good. No. <laughs> good. But, yeah, he's a huge Steelers fan. Like, mm -hmm. big time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, mm -hmm. I just... Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Never been into it. Just not my thing. I know. It's all good. It's all good. And and it's really funny with um, when it comes to baseball and football and and the stereotypical sports. Yeah. Um, 
it, it's really interesting that you know people will ask you where you're from we'll get, you know you'll get into conversations about sports teams right people at least from my experience people are really shocked to find out that I'm from California and don't like California teams? Yeah, don't like the 49ers, don't like the Raiders. And I'm like, I've never liked them. I've always so liked why, the Cowboys. Why is it that you decided to latch on to Dallas then? Um, I think, I'm not real sure, but I think it's because they were the first football team I ever saw when I was like five or six. <clears throat> So Did and you see I the team or the cheerleaders because the cheerleaders. Like, yeah. Really, really, really. Yeah. That's one of the things I like about <laughs> football. Like, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, it was the actual football team. All right. So yeah, and I was, I was. Well, I guess for you, the football hopper. team would be the equivalent of cheerleaders for me. Uh, not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember, like way back in the day, my dad talking about football and there was something about uh, people the, the size of a refrigerator it was like a oh, big thing back oh in the day. oh there was I like a specific guy yeah he was i believe uh I think and we're not talking about the fridge yeah i was gonna say we're not talking about modern refrigerators we're talking about like the ones from the 50s yeah. that'll survive a nuclear I, I holocaust think he was called the fridge was he yeah okay. I, I, I believe so. My my football history is... I'm Yeah, no. It's okay. You know what? I know a lot of things about a lot of stuff, and I know a little about even more, but football is one of those areas. <laughs> <laughs> Mario says, me too. Um, I'm from Arizona, and I don't like the Cardinals or the D-backs. Well, look at that. <laughs> there and Dave says, Fridge Perry. Thank you very much, Dave. Well, look at that. You got another football fan on our yeah. hands there. <laughs> <laughs> or he Googled it. Oh. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> All right. So, so, you know, we were just talking about how old you are since you're older than dirt. And I, I am dirt. And about the fact that uh, we have apparently a hippie commune going on here. <laughs> and we were talking about your earlier years in school, back in the horse and buggy days. <laughs> you are so wrong and evil. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so you found this, and and it just kind of it just works. It, it does. <laughs> it really does. Oh my goodness! I didn't realize how well this was gonna work today. <laughs> <laughs> and now I have seen it all. I so just... was was this your limo to prom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, evil man. The worst part is, I know that's an Amish buggy, and they've got the boat thing going on there. It's just hilarious. I, it I'm is. Dying, man. It is, it is. And and to answer... This is like redneck Amish. <laughs> <laughs> that's what this is. That's like a special <laughs> level. <laughs> this is, yeah, that's what this is. This is redneck oh. Amish. You got Amish, oh, and then there's goodness. redneck Amish. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't think that was even possible. Hey, Red neither did I, but there's <laughs> photographic evidence right there. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> and to answer your question, I actually drove myself to prom. In that? Uh, no, I said drove, <laughs> not rode. You can drive that. It's got rails and steers. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that is that is good. I'm telling you. So so you're saying that this does not strike up a memory from high school for you? Uh, no, it does not. I don't believe you. Oh, yeah. you, were, you are. You are on a I want to see one of those today. old black and white photographs from like back in the day where they had to, you know, with the accordion. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. What? Wow. It was only a little while ago. Oh. <laughs> anyway, that that really made oh. me laugh. And Mario it. says that's funny. It's like the um the Amish Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Amish Uber. You so, remember that one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so so the, the the question I have for that one for Amish Uber, how did they get a hold of each other? I think we talked about. That. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you smoke pretty signals. Much we can't use a heliostat because it's a little bit too technological for oh. them. Good God. lord! Uh, what? <laughs> I'm just saying, you yeah, know, smoke you, signals. You, you wave them down. Well, yeah, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, mm. that that's how you do it. Mm. That's what the article said. You wave him down. 
What if he's not in your area and you still need a ride? Good freaking question. A human telephone? <laughs> oh, man. That'll get all distorted by the time it gets to the end. I know, right? <laughs> I wonder if that's too technological for him. I don't know. Human telephone? Because it has the word telephone in it. Oh, so. no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm going to take us back to... Um, oh. You were talking government and... Government uh, overreach. Well, actually, we were talking about the cheese-eating surrender monkeys across uh, the way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm bringing it back here. Uh-huh. And, and last night... I, I wrote up the news and I added something very unconventional oh, to yeah. our news, and it was a uh, you know, come on, come on and and watch the morning show tomorrow. I don't even remember what it was about. FEMA. <laughs> <coughs> it was oh, about yeah. FEMA. FEMA, and and I realize government moves slow. Wait, wait, what's FEMA, Lois? Uh, federal. Uh, oh God. You have a degree in this. You should I know, and I always got it wrong <laughs> when I typed it up. Um, Federal Emergency Management Administration, I believe. Yes, we're um, from the government. We're here to help. Ah! <laughs> 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 ah! uh, Diana says they they communicate through homing pigeons. <laughs> I think we did mention that. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So anyway, yes, FEMA, the, the, you know, we're from the government, we're here to help everybody uh-huh. run for your lives. Get and, out of and I understand government moves slow, okay? They're supposed to. Yes. However. Yes, this was good. This was ridiculous. Wait, so you got to go over what the news article was. Uh, right, what? right. Oh, come on. So, so FEMA earlier this week, mm-hmm. um, FEMA has a flood insurance program. So the government has a flood insurance program. Yes. Okay. Now. They put out earlier this week an announcement to those in Flagstaff, Arizona. We had a 100 year, no, 200 year, no, 300 year, <laughs> wait, no, 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 it was a, it was a thousand year flood. Yeah, sorry. I was confused because it happened in so many different stages, but the thousand year flood in Flagstaff, how long ago was that? Um, what, June, July? Okay. Somewhere in there? Yeah. And FEMA yeah. is just now announcing... Their their flood insurance program is just now announcing that people who live in the area of the tinder fire, mm-hmm. because vegetation is no longer there, they could be prone to mudslides. Or, or, or and, flash floods. Or fa- flash floods. And they are now suggesting and encouraging homeowners and renters to properly prepare for these events. <coughs> Wait, they, They've I, been rained on since. <laughs> a little late. <laughs> Just saying. Was like, I came across this and I went, what? <laughs> it's only a few months <laughs> after the fact. Oh, you know, the damage is <laughs> done. And they're like, you know, you should probably have so, some flood insurance for that. I, Ooh, I, I, <laughs> so I'm reading this. And yes, I realize I, I have a degree in emergency management. And I'm thinking, all right, so... A lot of things revert to or advance to FEMA um, after an event. And I'm thinking... Slowly. <laughs> and I'm thinking as I'm writing this up going, that no wonder, and, and I know it was not a funny ha-ha. Uh, no, no wonder when it came to Katrina, it <sighs> took them forever because you figure you're talking a month, maybe two months <coughs> after this rain event that the government entity that's Buy supposed to help you already got flooded is more. making an announcement saying, oh, you may want to prepare your homes for flash floods and mudslides. If you don't know that already, Darwin is in the <laughs> I think people know because we reported on the flooding. Not just everybody. Not to mention the people that live there. They look up and they go, oh, look, water. <laughs> I saw this and I about died. I'm going, you guys are so freaking late. It's unreal. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I just, and you would think, <laughs> logically speaking. Oh, that, that's your problem right there. I know, right? <laughs> After the tinder fire mm-hmm. is when they would have put this out. Not after the 100, 200, thousand year rain flood event. <laughs> Better I late mean, than never? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, <okay. laughs> 
<laughs> it's just I, no. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, That's government I, efficiency for mm, <laughs> Aren't mean, you glad they're looking out for you? Mm, and and my thing is is okay. Why did it take so long? I understand that announcements and, and things need to be approved uh -huh. to make sure of certain things, but really, just, <sighs> I, I couldn't, I, I'm still dumbfounded that it took them this long to put something out. Uh -huh. Now, when, when you're talking them coming to help you, uh -huh. how the Frick long are they gonna take? Yeah, well, then it's it's a lot faster because they're trying to take things away from you, not help you. <laughs> <laughs> just what? saying, then they're all over that stuff. You're like, yeah, let's go. Oh, oh, I just, I, I am, I'm still dumbfounded and flabbergasted about this. And you know, I, I, oh, yeah, I, I so want to contact some of my <sighs> my instructors. Uh, for that degree and say, can y'all explain this one? <laughs> well, you actually volunteered for, for a stint in the uh, in the, in the Coconino County mm -hmm. Emergency Management Program during one of those classes. So yeah, call up yeah. one of your contacts and be like, hey. Uh, they wouldn't be able to tell me. Oh, okay. That, that's why one of the instructors, because they they talk more often with FEMA uh, than, okay. than uh, the these FEMA? guys. <laughs> You know, and that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> the, the only reason is is because um, unless something major happens, uh -huh. um, municipalities uh -huh. municipalities would not be directly speaking with them. It would be the state. Okay. So that would be why. All right, whatever. But anyway. Moving on. So, yeah, I saw this. I about died. I'm going, you guys are about six months late. With, with this announcement, because it should have been during and after. The but you know, they're very reliable, and they're only here to help. Just saying. I can't do the side eye thing that you can so well. <laughs> so, all right. We're going to go back to the whole sports thing. Now. Stop. <laughs> if you are a Cleveland Browns fan. Is that a sports team? It's a football team. Oh. All right. And they're called the Browns? Yes. One of these two. We'll pick one. <clears throat> you pick one. So, there is something new coming to the Cleveland area. Now, Bud Light. <laughs> oh, no. That is not a good idea. And number one. It's a great marketing point. And there it goes. <clears throat> Number two, this tells you how long it's been since the Cleveland Browns won anything. <laughs> so I think that they're not a very good team? <laughs> they, they, they've they been losing for quite some time. So if you're a fan of them, apparently you guys suck. <laughs> so Budweiser has come out with a new marketing thing. They cannot say where specifically Bye. throughout the city... You are not a frog. <laughs> Wise. Er. I'm going to read the headline here. Thank you. I was trying to explain it. Bud Light puts victory fridges in Cleveland to help Browns fans celebrate their first win with free beer. You know, I've seen riots after people win <laughs> sports games. Why would you want to fuel that particular fire? I mean, just saying. I don't know. Sounds like bad marketing to me. I don't know how they plan on not having one person empty out one of these fridges. <laughs> and when at least because one they is keep at the stadium. the beer, so, yeah. right? Oh, oh no. no. Oh. Hey, I got a term. I, I made so, a sports joke. So these fridges are located <laughs> around Cleveland. Okay. One is in, at least one is in the stadium. And they are time locked. To what? They will be opened and unlocked remotely. You said time locked. Uh, well, okay. Does that mean they already know when the Browns are going to win? Because no, all of these games are actually rigged and the entire thing is BS? That was no way! That's I've just uncovered a conspiracy <laughs> of epic proportions! That was the wrong terminology. Oh, sorry, what? So, <laughs> so 
they are wirelessly locked, I guess you would call it, because the, um, somebody over at Budweiser uh -huh. actually has control over when these things unlock. How often do they change that to beer? Won't it go bad before the guys win? And not if they're... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good point. Just saying. Good point. I mean, if they're... Come on. Work with me here, people. Work with me. It took me a second. <laughs> it, it, it did. It took me a second. So, um, it's actually for this season only. So far. Oh, okay. So, their answer's your old beer now, question. Now, is it for every game, I think? No, it's only for their first win of the... True oh, season. season. Okay. Do they ever win? Every once in a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. That's where those numbers like 0 and 3 come in, right? Uh, yes. Right. Yes. I see. I'm yeah. starting to get the hang of this whole <laughs> football thing. By, who knows? By the end of this football season, you may actually know more about football than you figured you'd want. No, I'll flush it. <laughs> so. So. Um, these will be opened remotely. At the same time, after the Cleveland Browns win their first game. Okay. And I saw these and I went, oh my goodness, because I was thinking the same thing as you. I, I have seen the riots when they win, when uh, teams win, when teams lose, that whole kit and caboodle. And my other thought was, okay, well, you have these things that are being unlocked at a specific time. <clears throat> um immediately after they win their first Okay, they, yes, we got game. the concept there, though. Let's go. And they're not saying where they're located throughout the city. So what, it's like hide-and-seek for beer? And no, they actually can't. What? Um, there's some sort of law or regulation that they cannot announce where they are located. So you're going to have people going around this city looking for these refrigerators... Uh, you know, and there's just waiting, so many things wrong with this. I don't know. And waiting after every game or during every game for these refrigerators to open. If you're that desperate for free beer, I'm telling you, man, maybe you need to rethink your line of work. Scroll up for a second. <laughs> oh, wait, that's me. Anyway. <laughs> this is what they look like. Oh, boy. So wait, I have to pull this up. You should have said I was going to have to pull something up. It, oh, really? It yeah. was... Mm. I put it in the email saying there were pictures. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Uh, maybe oh, that one. There no. it is. There it is. So my question is, is one, how are they going to regulate how many people get? And that poor person who's the first one there is going to probably get crushed. Yep, and Just then Budweiser will get sued to get and blah, blah, blah. Free beer. Yeah. So this is what they look like. It sounds like a bad idea all the way around. And yeah. apparently it's also illegal. Uh, for them to say where they are. So you're telling me that somebody actually put a law together that says if you have free beer, you cannot te I tell think, people where it is. I think it's the promotional thing. That seems awful. Prior, prior to the actual date. And because they don't know when the Browns are going to win, if they're going to win. So um, you're telling me a legislative body has created a, such a specific law for it? This doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> there is no, just, wow. Apparently some board dude sat around, if this particular situation possibly happens with this possible company doing this, and if this team is that, really? Uh, no, no. Um, it would have to do with alcohol promotion. That that's uh -oh. that's what it is. You cannot promote alcohol and give a location. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. This sounds so, like it dates back David, to the prohibition or something. David <laughs> says free for underage drinkers. You would think. However, the only place that it is not that these fridges are not in um, an area where you have to be twenty one years or older to get into yeah. is the stadium. But how do you know? Because nobody knows where they are. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. So yeah, all all but the one at least, they, like I said, they have at least one at the stadium. Every other one is in a location where it's twenty one or over. But so how it's we probably know? a bar. They said nobody knows. I know, except for the company and whoever has it. Sounds awfully suspicious. <laughs> I don't know. 
So I don't that, know. That'll I've... be one to watch um, and, and see what happens if and when the, the Browns win um, during the... And it's during the regular season, not during preseason. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> <clears throat> but okay, I'll take Dave your word. Dave says that it. beer will likely be bad before they win. <laughs> see, I said the same I, thing. It, and, but it's only during this season. Right. So but, I have a feeling they if they don't win this season, they will Budweiser will remove the refrigerator. But what if they just give it out as like a you know like a oh we're sorry your team sucks. <laughs> Well, what? I mean, come on, you know, you already got the beer there, just, you know, well, there you go. Here's your, cons- you know, co- consolation beer. Excuse me. No, I, I mean, as as a sports fan, yes, I understand my, my team is not the best in the world. Um, however, they're not this bad. <laughs> Well, on that amazing note Isn't of the tiny? failure of humanity to do pretty oh. much anything. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It's that time. Let's do us. one more. Nope. Yes. Save it. One more. Monday. No, 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 no. Monday. No, one more. I got a really epic one. Who wants to see another one? I do. I do. Or you don't count. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you go get in your Amish buggy pulling your boat. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> All right, we'll let you do one so more. Lois. This one is a um, shopping epic fail. A shopping epic. Oh, I got it. It, it is. Go. It's an epic fail. All right. Okay. What do you got, Lois? You're gonna have to pull it up, and and because it's pictures. Okay, well, I gotta find it first. It, yeah. Well, scroll, scroll down. All right. It starts right here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pull so, this in here. So this one I tried to bring up a couple of weeks ago, and um, uh, it, it it came from across from a friend of mine. And, um, oh, hold on. What? Dave says, now I love cheering for the Browns. They have some of the best fans and parties. Mario says, beer. <laughs> <laughs> Dave says, Chris, back to the kitchen while Lois and I watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. Yeah. I'm a pretty damn good cook, so yeah. pretty much. it's infinitely yeah. more entertaining. So this uh, this didn't work because um, my friend has has their uh, Facebook account locked down for private. Now, so I just took screenshots. We've all seen the sponsored ads, right? Yes. You mean on Facebook? On uh, sorry, yes, on Facebook. Okay, thank you, Lois. Because uh, yeah. that all and, ads and, are technically sponsored. But anyway, uh, oh. The sponsored ads on Facebook. Where it says now, sponsored. Yes. And the shopping ads specifically like, I don't know, Walmart, where they have a list of products you can scroll through. Okay. Okay. Right. Now bring this up. And this right. is to prove that this is actually um, a real Walmart sponsored. Yep. Okay. Right. Scroll down one more. Well, are we supposed to read this stuff? No, no, no. Oh, right. Just so, scroll down. Right. So this was part of the ad. The sponsored ad. This one was part of the sponsored ad. Now, keep scrolling. Oh, I. Oh, right. Yep, you've got two more. What would you do if this came across your oh. sponsored ad yeah. <laughs> from Walmart? <laughs> because this was in the same line. <laughs> Go Walmart. Man, I'm gonna wait till that thing's on rollback. <laughs> Clearance. I'm going down to Walmart to buy it. <laughs> I saw this. I about died because this was great. Whoa. I didn't realize Walmart sold APCs. They they don't. According to them, they do. Oh, no. That's amazing. <laughs> One more. Let me guess. They got a nuclear silo. What? <laughs> no way. So- now my friend when 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 he posted this up it was it was in video when he posted it it up uh-huh. he asked if he could just pull into Walmart and pick it up or if he had to go inside I was gonna <laughs> say you know they've got that whole uh, site delivery you know store delivery site thing and you can order it online and they just drop it off at your local Walmart <laughs> I mean how cool is that I know where so, I'm going after the morning show <laughs> I just. It's like, well, wait a minute here. <laughs> Apparently, we didn't know Walmart has a military division. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't surprise me because, you know, things like, there's all kinds of government agencies that have law enforcement. I, I realize that. Well, now Walmart, Walmart has a military. Look at that. 
<laughs> oh, military so, contractor. And, and according to this, the way, I mean, the way I would see it is the public can purchase these? Yeah, let's go get an impact. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> and people are like, well, what are you going to do with that? You're asking the wrong question. What can't you do? <laughs> Dave says, hey, and free two-day shipping. Right? <laughs> That even says get free two day shipping. Get to the <laughs> wow. wow. So, um, it says you know minimum order of thirty five bucks. I wonder how much these are. <laughs> I think they're slightly higher than the thirty five dollar price point. I could be wrong. You never know. It's Walmart. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> and and the thing that cracks me up is. They're not toys. No. They're not advertising them as toys. No, that, that would be a real one. <laughs> <laughs> They're advertising real ones in their sponsored ads. That's my favorite one right there. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just about died. I mean, it just... That's great. Uh, and and I, I actually have to give kudos to my friend because when I hit play on, on uh, the video, mm -hmm. he's not cracking up. He's not saying anything. It's just quiet with some background noise. Like, <laughs> and it, he yeah. held his composure so well for that video. I would have been dying. <laughs> Don't what the world? You wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have been filming it. My husband would run into Walmart. <laughs> like, I would have been clicking the shop now button. <laughs> Buy it now, free shipping. Oh, so wow. yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess from now on, when you see a Walmart sponsored ad or something like that where you're shopping, you need to scroll through what they're advertising. <laughs> oh no. Um, Renee says, just don't buy the middles. The targeting systems are blind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, I, I figured we'd, we'd end it on this one. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that. That was pretty good. Pretty good. So anything on that amazing oh, note of missiles? She says, don't buy the missiles. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, just like the rest of the crap that we have in the military right now, they're made in China, which means they'll probably blow up in your own face. But anyway. Mm, we're not going to go there. Yeah, that's a whole other problem. <laughs> and a whole other show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, what? So anyway, on that, once again, shh, on that amazing note, we're going to call it a day, I think. What do you think, Lois? Can, yeah, can we do way. that now? Yes. All right. Thank you guys very much for liking, sharing, and commenting. And thank you for joining us and being a part of the network. We do appreciate it. You guys have an amazing Friday. Yes, definitely. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Sounds good. <laughs> Who wants to see some Rupert? I do. Hey, he's not made in China. Uh, uh, no. The RPT, the Rocket Propelled Turtle. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-